Welcome to our custom-built Mercedes Sprinter van. We have more than 30 storage compartments in this van. So stay tuned to see how we fit all our belongings into our tiny home on wheels. So let's start with the cabinets on the back of the van. So here we have four top cabinets uh, for clothing. So th this one in the back is mine, and this one in the back is mine as well. I put all my winter clothes in here, accessories, and I have a few sleeping wear and some games up on top. And here are Rita's two drawers up top. Rita, what do you put over here? I have makeup, hair accessories, Contact, uh, nail polish. <laughs> and on this side, this is yours as well. Some feminine stuff. And my switch is there. Here we have our headboard. We put our laptops, our iPads, on all along this wall. So when we're driving, um, they stay secured. Uh, we also have a pouch to put some small electronic pieces like our uh, hotspot and our TV device. So here is storage as well. This is where we put our bedding, our pillows. And on this side we have where our water tank is. So I'll call this half the storage because we put our uh, bathroom cartridges here as well as some beach here in here as well. We move to the kitchen. Um, I'll show you the, the bottom drawers first. So here is where we store all our um, utensils, our knives, our forks, our cookware. Here is a miscellaneous straw. We put cups in here. We have some easy to access tools, uh, the, the brushes for the dogs, uh, cups, sauces, we put that in here. Down here we have all our cookware. We have our cast iron skillet. We have a few um, skillets and pots, pans, and some containers in here as well. And on this side we have our dishes. This is our drying mat. We have our plates, dishes, and some paper plates in here. This is where we store all our snacks. We have our vitamins here, we have uh, some bags of food, chips, cookies. They go in here. And down here is another drawer where we put more snacks. Um, we have some tea, we have some um, plastic wrap and saran wrap, and aluminum foil. Another bottom drawer over here, collapsible garbage can. We have our fire extinguisher. Also down here we have our cleaning supply. We have um, some Clorox, Lysol, extra soap. Uh, we also store extra shampoo and, and, uh, and, and some shower gel down here. We also have our hair dryer and Rena's hair curlers. Up top, we have this top cabinet here. This is where we store all our toiletry. So my side is here, Rena's side is in the middle. This is where we store all our uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, and, and other toiletry items. We also have our toilet paper here and our paper towel in the back. We store our medicines here, our uh, dental floss, Q-tip and then the, the washing detergent is here as well. And on this side, this is our dry food, food storage on this side. Um, and then I separated the 12 volt control panel on this side. We have canned food here. We have our noodles and uh, udons, Rina's tea and other dry food up here. And on this side, we have the electric component. This is the gauge to see 
uh, how much water we have, how much power we have. This is to turn on the inverter. The buttons to release the ball valve for the gray water tank. Uh, turning on and off the water pump. As well as the switch for our wine guard to go. And then behind there is our 12 volt uh, fuse panel. Uh, as well as our reboost which boosts our cell phone signals. So I have my t-shirts in there, my caps, uh, I have a winter jacket in the back, back there. Um, Some shorts. My shorts, yep. And this is his and um, my, underwear. My door. underwear, my sleepwear. So this is his electronic compartment drawer. And this is a drawer for the dog. So their food, uh, also our laundry in the back. Um, I have a few bags in the back as well, a camera bag. We have our pantry, like oil, pepper, spices, um, macaroni, rice, pasta, pancake mix. This goes all the way across to the back. So we have two different from, doors. From here to here is this door, and then here is the, uh, the dog food. Yeah, so we're gonna count this as two different storage because this is a different door to access here. It's very hard to access this stuff uh, from the inside because there is a uh, register that runs our Robusto heater, it goes right in the middle. Um, so this is really access from the outside. So behind the sliding door, we actually have two more storage boxes right over here. Uh, it's a little step up for Maui and Maru. And in here, we have a storage box for Rina's shoes. And on this side, we have uh, a small box for my tools, my drills, my drill bits, a socket set for easy access. We have more storage up here. This is a headliner shelf that we custom built. This is where we put our uh, bags, extra bags, um, a bag for when we go hiking to store the, the dog food, um, their bowls so we can we can backpack with them, um, and extra travel bag so if we need to go somewhere we can, uh, we can use it. So our last storage is here, is our garage space. So we put our tools, um, hiking shoes, uh, our scooter, and affordable grill and other miscellaneous stuff. In the winter, we might put our snowboard and ski stuff in here. So they also have our affordable uh, chair. Because space is so limited, we want to make sure the size of the chair is as small as possible. Comes in like this. So this is the smallest we can find. 
supposed to turn into a chair like that. Yeah, so anything to save space. So I think that's all the storage that we have on the van. Uh, that's more than 30. Yeah, we were able to fit so much in this small van for everything that we have from our, our, our life in the house to life in, on the wheels. We hope that you enjoy watching this video. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and press the bell for notification for future content. Thank you. Bye.